Do you want to hear a secret? There's a very important technology that you've probably never even heard of. It's what ties all of these things together. Robots, planes, people riding their bicycles, and even the human body itself. A world of different technologies is all enabled using what is called automatic control. What is automatic control? Well, have a look around. Does the room you are sitting in while you're watching this video have a nice, cozy temperature, even when it's really hot or cold outside? Good for you. But if it were too hot or too cold, you would simply adjust the thermostat, right? And the heating or cooling system does the rest. This is the essence of control. To illustrate control more clearly, take a look at this diagram. First, you need a system, an input, and an output. In our example, the system is the room. So the output is the temperature of the room. But how can we change this system? Well, we can easily turn on the air conditioner. The air conditioner is called the actuator. It's what we use to make a physical change in the system. So the input is a signal to turn on the air conditioner and correspondingly the output from the actuator is cold air, which acts as our system input to cool down the room. We call this an open loop system because the input is independent of the output, meaning the heater or air conditioner will continue to heat or cool regardless of how warm or cool the room already is. This way, it can be very uncomfortable very quickly. That's not smart. And by the way, a complete waste of energy. Which not only burns money, but also contributes to climate change. A closed loop system, on the other hand, is smart. And the difference is feedback. Feedback is what makes control a unique technology. Automatic control measures what we want to control. In our case, the room temperature. A sensor measures the room temperature. And then we can compare the difference between where we are and where we want to be. The controller then adjusts the input to the heater or air conditioner to close the gap. All this happens automatically, smart, without any human interaction. Oh, so one more thing. Time. The right timing also plays an important role in automatic control. It's not enough to compute and apply the right adjustment in feedback systems. We also need to get the right adjustment to the system on time. If it's hot outside in the middle of the day, but our system doesn't start cooling the room until the middle of the night, that's again, not smart. Thankfully, control engineers know exactly how to calculate the right timing using mathematical equations. Now that we've let you in on the secret, Maybe you've noticed that automatic control is a hidden technology. As long as it works, no one will really notice it's there. But if not, it can have catastrophic consequences. A plane could lose control. A reactor could start melting. Or your rice could overcook and ruin your dinner. Oh, no. Automatic control has always played an important role in our lives and will continue to do so in the future enhancing our lives and helping solve many challenges, innovating technology, revolutionizing medicine, helping fight diseases, protecting the environment, and much more. Want to learn more about automatic control? Stay curious, observe the world, and wouldn't hurt to learn some math and a bit of programming. For more information, visit our website.